Today is Advent Block 7. This is the story of Moses. Abraham had a son named Isaac. Isaac had a son named Jacob. And Jacob had a son named Joseph. He saved God's people from famine by bringing them to Egypt. When the famine was over, Joseph's family stayed in Egypt. They grew and grew and grew over many years until they filled the whole land. But then a new king began to rule in Egypt. This king was very mean to God's people, the Israelites. He made them into slaves. All day long they had to work, making bricks, picking crops in the fields with no time to rest and not even being paid for it. The Egyptians made the Israelites' lives miserable. God's people felt crushed and alone. So they cried out to God, Please help us. We need you. God heard their cries. God saw their trouble. And God loved his people. And he had a plan to set them free. God picked a man called Moses to rescue his people. Moses knew all about their slavery, but when he had tried to help before, it had all gone wrong. He messed up. So Moses ran away to another country and he became a shepherd looking after sheep out in the wilderness. One day, Moses saw a bush, not a normal bush, but one that was on fire and not burning up. God called to Moses from within the bush and Moses came over. When he realized that it was God speaking to him, he was terrified. But God had a special mission for Moses. I know my people are suffering, God said. I have heard them crying out to me. I care about them and I will set them free from their slavery. So Moses... I am sending you to see Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and to tell him to let my people go. If Moses was terrified before, he felt a lot worse now. Pharaoh could seriously hurt him and even kill him for what God was telling him to do. God knew Moses was scared, so he gave Moses an important message. I will be with you. It took a lot of persuading, and after making a lot of excuses, Moses finally accepted the mission God had given him to do. He went back to Egypt with his brother Aaron and told Pharaoh everything God had said. Pharaoh didn't care at all because he didn't know God, and so he refused to let God's people go. God started sending plagues on Egypt. He turned the river Nile into blood. He made frogs cover the land. After that, he sent gnats, which covered the frogs and other animals and even the people. Then flies and sickness and horrible boils and huge hailstones and a storm of locusts and a terrible darkness over the whole land for three days. Even after all of these terrible things, Pharaoh still did not let the Israelites go free. God used Moses to warn Pharaoh about the last plague. Let God's people go or the firstborn son in every Egyptian family will die. God also used Moses to warn the Israelites. Listen carefully, all of you. Every family must take a lamb, kill it, and put his blood on your doorposts. That way, when God visits tonight, he'll see the blood and pass over your houses. And just as God said, all the firstborn sons in Egypt died that night, including Pharaoh's own son. It took until this tragic point for Pharaoh to finally tell Moses, go and take your people and everything you have with you. God's people were free at last. For years to come, even when it was hard, 
Even when they wandered in the wilderness, even when they weren't sure what was going to happen next, they remembered how God had saved them from slavery in Egypt. But as the years went on and on, the Israelites stopped remembering. They forgot how God had helped them and they only thought about how they didn't want to be in the wilderness anymore and they even started to miss Egypt. The Israelites hadn't yet come to the land and home that God had promised them, but God was with them. He remembered them and he was faithful to them. And one day, God would come back to stay.